until the 1920s, everyone thought the universe was essentially static and unchanging in time. Then it was discovered that the universe was expanding. The questions I would like to talk about are... Where did we come from? How did the universe come into being? Are we alone in the universe? Is there alien life out there? What is the future of the human race? Some of the biggest questions that's ever been asked Do you know where life is going? Can you tell where it starts? We've been on earth for many years and we are still producing answers As time passes, collective knowledge advances We set targets and raise hopes for the future With mathematical modelling on the computer Bring statistics to make it hard to dispute The length of time it took life to evolve here The origin of life is hotly debated Some say evolved, some say created The choice is up to you, it just depends on how you weigh it Did life start on earth and it's all life related? To differentiate the life forms into species Now it's just a label DNA in the deep freeze Got a complete these genome family trees Thank Mr Mendel for pondering peace Study life on earth then you're doing biology But in space it's called <laughs> Looking for life in the rest of the galaxy With interplanetary <laughs> The origins of life still don't know the chronology But digging up clues with <laughs> I didn't know about <laughs> But now I'm here to chat about <laughs> I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Or until this question is involved. 1957, check the date when Russia launched Sputnik, starting the space age. Two superpowers and the Cold War mandate. A year later, NASA's foundations were laid. Part of the first step, rockets need an upgrade. For lunar travel by the end of the next decade. Are we looking for life? Nah, not on this landscape. Where should we look? Better arts find Drake. Let's try to find a star similar to the sun. A very might find a planet similar to our own. Where conditions are perfect in a Goldilocks zone. But what about planet X? We better leave that alone the further from the heat source the colder the home but life can survive in its dreams so the evidence is shown to find a life not intelligence and genetic inheritance but alien communication how would we know study life on earth then you're doing biology but in space it's called astrobiology looking for life in the rest of the galaxy with interplanetary astrobiology the origins of life still don't know the chronology but digging up clues with astrobiology i didn't know about astrobiology but now i'm to chat about astrobiology. Astronomy, monotony for some, but still the mind is always wondering, searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. We listen to radio, but the signal stays silent. Only alien I've seen is in a science fiction story, in an alien autopsy, or some other type of movie. So look for the biology, not the mythology. It's eyes into space for some astrobiology. Use methodologies to determine the distance to stars and how hot they're burning. But when I 
say Doppler, I'm not speaking German I'm referring to a shift in the light spectrum From all the methods, this could be the best one To find big worlds and other star systems Exoplanets that fit the description Is anyone there? Well, that's the question Study life on Earth, then you're doing biology But in space it's called astrobiology Looking for life in the rest of the galaxy With interplanetary astrobiology The origins of life still don't know the chronology Digging up clues with astrobiology I didn't know about astrobiology But now I'm here to chat about astrobiology